Okay, everybody. We are going to be doing Romans chapter 15. If I can get to it. Okay. Well, actually, Romans 15 and 16, because there is only 16 chapters in the book of Romans. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus bless the video. And here we go. We then that are strong ought to bear the affirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for mm -hmm. his edification. For even Christ Jesus pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the God of patience, Father Jehovah, and consolation, uh, Father Jehovah, grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify Father Jehovah, even the, even the Father of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is Father Jehovah. <clears throat> we receive ye one another as Christ Jesus also received us to the glory of Father Jehovah. Now I say that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of Father Jehovah to confirm the promises made to the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify Father Jehovah for his mercy as it is written. For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto you, Sing unto thy name, and again he saith, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, Father Jehovah, all ye Gentiles, and loud him, all ye people. And again Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. And that was Jesus. Now the God of hope, Father Jehovah, fill you all with joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able to admonish one another. <clears throat> Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto some unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given me a father Jehovah that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles ministering the gospel <clears throat> of father Jehovah that the offerings up of the Gentiles might be acceptable being sanctified by the Holy Ghost I have therefore whereof I have there, therefore whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, and those things which pertain to Father Jehovah. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ Jesus hath not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Holy Spirit of Father Jehovah, so that, Jerus that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yea, so I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ Jesus was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation, but as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand, for which cause also I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now having no more plan, 
no more place in these parts, and having a great desire these many years to come unto you. Whensoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey and be brought on my way thitherward by you, if first I be somewhat filled with your company. But now I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints, the Christians. For it hath pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia, A-C-H-A-I-A, -A, to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem, the Christians there. It hath pleased them verily, and their debtors they are, for if the Gentiles have been made partakers of the spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. Jesus, Jesus. sorry, I, I get notifications. When therefore I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I will come by you into Spain. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Holy Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to Father Jehovah for me, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I have for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints. <clears throat> uh, the Christians, that I may come unto joy with you by the will of Father Jehovah, and may be with you, and may with you be refreshed. Now the God of peace, Father Jehovah, Father Jehovah, be with you all. Amen. Now chapter 16. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the Christian church, which is at Sancria, that ye receive her in the Lord Father Jehovah, as becometh saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you, for she hath been a secure of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches, the Christian churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved at Pontius, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ Jesus. That was like the first Christians in that area. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us, Salute Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners who are of note among the apostles, who were, who also were in Christ Jesus before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved in the Lord Jesus. Salute Urbane, our helper in the Christ Lord Jesus, and Statius, my beloved. Salute Apellus, approved in Christ Jesus. Uh, salute, salute them which are of Aristobulus's household. Salute Herodian, my kinsmen. Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus, which are in the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> salute Tryphena and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord Jesus. Salute the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord Jesus. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord Jesus, and his mother and mine. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Petrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philogus and Julia, Neresius, Neresus. Narius, sorry, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them, the Christians. Salute one another with a holy kiss, the churches of Jesus Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them with 
which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good works and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace, Father Jehovah, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, shall bruise that bastard Satan under your feet shortly. And gr the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my fellow workman, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosis Pater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord Jesus. Gaius, mine host, and the whole Christian church, salute you. Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Quartus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Christ Jesus, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophet prophets according to the commandments of the everlasting God, Father Jehovah, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To Father Jehovah only wise be glory through, through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. And that is the end of, um, actually let me do that one more time. To Father Jehovah only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. And that is the end of Romans. Uh, and we will start on uh, the first, uh, first Corinthians tomorrow. Uh, Jesus bless you all. Jesus bless you all. I'll talk to you all later.